Hello and welcome to News Click. Banking sector has been in news quite a lot lately, be it, be it demonetization or the NPA crisis or the recent comments by RBI governor and the different functionaries regarding the privatization of banking sector. So today we have with us to discuss these issues, All India Bank Employees Association's General Secretary, Mr. Venkata Chalam. Welcome to News Click, Mr. Venkata Chalam. So, all the bank employees unions have called for strike on August 22nd. Can you tell us what are the demands and why you have called for the strike? See, it's a part of our continuous struggle. See, basically the strike is against the government's attempt to implement the banking reforms um, policy. Uh, they want to, uh, say for example, uh, deny the capital to the banks and then uh, privatize them. They want to make them... Uh, consolidated uh, banks by merger of the banks and all these things are going on but uh, we, we have a different view from the banking trade unions uh, we believe that banks are very important if government is talking of development for development money is required money is in the banks unless the money is in the government hands is not going to help for development they'll use it for personal private profit in, in the private banking so banks have to be in public sector Second, our experience is banks have contributed a lot after public sector, maybe white revolution, green revolution, uh, for uh, uh, rural development, and you, you, you name it, and banks have done it. Now, if you privatize, the whole development will be stopped. So, it is wrong to say that bank is a business, so it should be in private hand, it's not a government job, it's totally wrong. Secondly, banks are dealing with huge money. Today, it is more than 106 lakhs crores almost 80 percent of the total GDP uh, it is uh, there as deposit of the bank and there is common people's money domestic savings so there must be safety uh, for the people's money that is available only if it is in government banks because private banks we have seen uh, even now they, they take people's money and then uh, things happen in the world it is happening in India it has happened secondly they are not giving capital for banks today there is an international norms that uh, we must keep some capital. If I had to give 100 rupee loan, I should keep at least 10, 12 rupees as capital. And these are all government banks, so government should give capital. Now government says, no, no, I will not give capital, you have to uh, make your own uh, arrangement. Arrangement means that means you have to go to private people and take capital. So if banks have to do business, uh, we are in search of capital. Government is not giving. This year they have given 10,000. In the next few years, banks will be needing more than uh, one lakh eighty thousand crores total uh, capital because banks will be expanding. But if government will not give, banks will be compelled to go for private capital. That means privatization. So they are creating conditions, and so we are demanding government must give the capital. Government says no, no, we we have no money. There is a budget constraint. We can't give more. All these things we have already given in the last six seven years some seventeen billion dollars. It looks uh, very big for. Uh, people like in India, oh, 17 billion dollars. But throughout the world, governments are giving capital, even for private banks, even America, for example, which our government is trying to copy now. There was a financial crisis 2008-9. So far, the government has, United States government has given 2,225 billion dollars. We are given just 17 billion dollars and we are telling we have given. Russian government has given 70 billion dollars. UK government has given some 67 billion dollars. All governments are giving because the government wants banks. India also we need banks, so government must find a way to give capital. Secondly, uh, it is not one-way traffic. When the banks are earning profit, banks were giving dividend to the government because government is capital uh, is with us, so we are returning as dividend. And on profit of the bank, we are also returning tax, income tax we are paying. So in the last seven, ten years, we have paid as dividend and income tax more than one lakh eighty thousand crores, and you are given ten thousand crores, and you are telling no, no, bahut jada ho gaya, no, no, it's too much, we can't give. So it's absolutely wrong. Government must give capital, and bank must be enabled to uh, contribute for national development. Secondly, they are also talking of consolidation of banks. Uh, why we need consolidation of banks? Is it that Indian banking is too much that we can't uh, develop further, we can't grow further, we have to can consolidate the saturation? It's not like that. Banks have huge scope to expand in our country. Globally, in India, the banking density is one of the lowest. Still, we have space to develop the banks in rural area for everything. 
So when there is scope to develop, why do we want to consolidate them? They say, no, we want big banks. We want strong banks, we want good banks, we want banks that will help the people. Uh, it doesn't mean that we have to be necessarily big banks. And big bank, there is a risk. Two risks. One, big bank means they will take care of big people. The tendency will come. There will be insensitive to small people. Small people need more of banking facility now. So banks should not become big. Secondly, the banks are too big. They will take more risk because the money will be more. So naturally, they will give bigger loans. Bigger loan means bigger risk. And so we can't afford, I'm, I'm using people's money, so I can't uh, take risk. And we have seen big banks in America, Lehman Brothers, you name it. Where are they? So bank, big bank doesn't mean strong bank. We need strong banks, good banks. People should be helped by the banks, not necessarily a bigger bank. So th that way also it is not required. Big bank doesn't mean that it will be helpful to people. In India, there is no need for consolidation. We need expansion. And so that is also wrong, we are opposing that. So uh, the NPAs, one of the reasons for push for privatization, NPAs are being shown as one of the reasons, saying that public sector banks make bad decisions in giving loans, that's why NPAs have come. Exactly. What is the solution from the bank employees side? We are getting people's money, we are giving us a loan, that loan is not coming back. I can understand agriculture loan, uh, rain has, uh, Cheated, rain is not there, rainfall is not there, other problems are there, farmers are not able to get the produce, so they are not able to repay the loan. I can understand. Some student has taken a loan, he has finished, he is not getting a job, so he is not able to repay. I can understand. But big people, industrialists, corporate people, they have taken huge loan and their companies are making profit, but they say, no, no, we have no money, we are not returning. So money is stuck up. Today it is 15 lakh crores of money big money and these loans are not coming so far they have been uh, doing this uh, camouflage just making them uh, restructuring restructuring telling it is good loan now uh, it is no longer possible to hide it so everything is coming out open and so they say no no we have to resolve the bad loan we should resolve how i given money i must get it back now they say no no i want to resolve it not by recovery but by other method, what is the other method? No, no, you give concession. Earlier they were giving concession on interest. Now they say in entire loan, I will give concession. I have given you 100 crores, give me 10 crores. Or we will go to the court, we will resolve it. Resolution means I will not get the entire money. For the remaining money, suppose after 100 crores, I get 10 crores. How to adjust 90 crores? That means I have to write off. From where I will write off? From the earning. From where I earn, from people's money, I do business and earn. And that money will be used for writing out the loans of the big people. And some of them are having the capacity to pay. Kingfisher Malaya, for example, 9,000 crores. He has got bungalow, he has got property, he has got other business. So we are telling, deliberately he is not repaying. Declare people like him as a willful defaulter and make it as a criminal offence. I have the ability to pay, I don't pay. So it's a criminal intention. So criminal action must be taken. That is not being done. Now government, Reserve Bank themselves have said that only 12 people, uh, this uh, Ruya, then uh, this uh, Bush and Steel, all these type, 12 people, 2,50,000 crores. So far they were hiding. Now it has come out openly. So we will go to the court. And Reserve Bank says, even if you go to the court, we may not get much money. Out of 2,50,000 crores, 60-70% money will not come. That means huge money will be written off. So this is loot of people's money. Simultaneously, this is interesting. For them, you are willing to write off the money. But now you say, no, no, we are writing off, so my revenue has come down, my profit has come down, I have to increase my revenue. And now they are taxing the people. You use your ATM card, I will charge you. You don't use your ATM card, I will charge you. You come to the bank inside, I will charge you. You withdraw money for more than five times, I will charge you. You want checkbook, I will charge you. Now, interest on saving deposit is reduced. Who is opening a savings account? Ordinary people, poor people. So for them, you will reduce their interest. And for big people, you will concession and write off. So it's completely unacceptable. It's very unfair. I use your money and I will penalize you, I will give your money to somebody and I will give all privilege to him. So these are all things, plus our own issues are there. Uh, you know, eight months ago, seven months ago, uh, 
the demonetization. We worked a lot, day and night. They said, oh, very good, very good. But they have not given us the uh, required payment over time, etc. Banks have spent a lot of money. When banks are in difficulty, at least the government should come because it's a government scheme. To implement government scheme, I have spent a lot of money. Banks have spent. So we are demanding you reimburse. At least to that extent, banks will be saved. Now simply they say you give subsidy rights. That's like Air India. We are, Air India is operating in all unremunerative uh, areas and they are in loss and they you privatize. Similarly, banks, we are helping people, then we are in loss and then you privatize. So this is no good. So to draw the attention of the people, to convey our protest and to save the banks in public sector, uh, this strike has been called by all the uh, nine unions under the United Forum of Bank Unions. Uh, in fact, we want to increase the awareness of the people that is no longer only employee issue, bank employee issue. It's a national issue. It's a people issue. So that they will also understand, they will support. Unless we can really arrest this uh, trend of writing of the bad loans and taking stringent measures to recover the money, banks will be in difficulty in India. Banks are dealing with people's money, so we can't afford to play gambling uh, with these uh, people's money. That's why they strike. Thank you, Mr. Vankar. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching NewsClick. Do keep watching us on newsclick.in.